Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to convert materials from Cycles or EV to Octane using baking. So you've probably all ran into this. You have this texture from Polygon. Even though it's using the principled BSDF, if there's these groups which confuse things, and then in here, there's a bunch of stuff that's going to convert to, to kind of mess up the conversion. So if we go over and hop over to Octane now, push F3, convert to Octane material, we get this, which is not what we want. <laughs> so, you know, you can manually set these up by taking, you know, the textures from inside here. You can push tab to go into this group and then you could try to see, okay, what's going on here. Okay. There's a color map and an AO map, and then you could manually bring them in and set up an octane material, but usually that's not what you want to actually, I don't want to say usually that's not what we're going to do. It kind of depends on the use case. If you want to be able to manipulate that stuff later, then yeah, you might want to manually set it up and you might want to manually be able to change all this stuff later. But for me, a lot of times, like in this example, switch back over to Eevee. Um, in this example, um, you know, I just want this box. I've set up my material here and, and I'll just make some, a few adjustments here. This is how I want it to look in, in Octane. And if that's the case, then baking is your, your best friend. So I'm not going to go through a full tutorial of how to bake. I definitely have, I have other tutorials that show you about baking. Uh, my favorite add-on for it is called Symbol Bake, uh, but I will go through the process here and you can sort of follow along if you want. So basically the main thing you have to, to make sure is that your, your material is all going to a principled BSDF or an emission shader. Those are really the only shaders that are going to work with the baking uh, method. And I think a lot of materials you know, work this way. But if not, there, there are ways that you can, um, you know, for instance, if you're using a glossy shader, a lot of times you can just recreate that material with this principled BSDF. And it's usually easier to do that and then convert than it would be to set up the entire shader in Octane. Again, it's kind of use case specific. Once you have your material in a principled BSDF, you want to see which maps you need to, to bake out. So in this case, we have base color, we have roughness, we don't have metallic, um, we don't have specular, we don't have to worry about that, uh, but we also have a normal, and then we do have a displacement map. In in this particular example, I don't think the displacement displacement does anything. So yeah, it actually it actually does not matter. We don't need a displacement map. There's not a uh, a way to to bake displacement through symbol bake, and I don't think there is through uh, through cycles. Because if you look at the bake settings this is where, where you would n normally bake it in uh, cycles and you have all these different, you know, uh, things you can do, but I don't see displacement. So, uh, yeah, displacements for another day, I guess. But, um, but yeah, so we, we identified that we need one, two, three maps for sure. And if you had metallic, you could, you could do metallic as well. So to, to bake it in simple bake, what you do is you select the object, you go into the render tab, Obviously, you you have to install uh, Simple Bake first, but and once you've installed it, you go to the Render tab, go down to Simple Bake, and then you're going to choose PBR Bake, which is the default, and then you're just going to simply choose the options that you want. So, in our case, Base Color, which is Diffuse, Roughness, and then Normal Map. If you had anything else like Metallic, you could you could do that as well. And then um, here's your your settings for the resolution. Now, in general, it's it's always better to go high. And then go low but if you especially if you're first getting started with baking and whatnot it's best to test it because it can sometimes it's not the re result you want or something goes wrong and and uh so i you know let's start with 1k so 1k will actually probably be enough anyway and it shouldn't take too long uh there's a lot of settings here i'm not going to go over them right now but i'll show you what settings i like to choose uh export bakes i turn that on i turn on this one if it's not already this makes sure that you don't overwrite anything and then we'll keep all this the same. I'll change this to just to a different name. I'll call it Octane Bake One. And then uh, I'm going to choose Copy and Apply Bakes. And what that does is it will um, this this material and this object are going to stay here. It's going to duplicate the cube, and it will apply all the new baked materials to this or the baked textures to this object. So, um, so, so yeah, it makes your life a lot easier. You can bake on GPU, but if you're doing PBR, you might as well just stay on CPU. Um, 
because you, there can be some issues if you if you try to use optics it's not going to work so i recommend you just choose cpu and then you can do foreground and background for, this was actually an option he put in for me <laughs> which uh, i'm very thankful for this is really more useful when you're doing uh, like combined bakes if you're baking lighting um so for me for now i'm just going to do foreground and then before i push bake uh, i'm going to save and then the other thing i like to do <clears throat> and this is true for a lot of add-ons so I'm going to go to Window, Toggle Console, and then now when I push Bake, it says Bake Complete because I had nothing selected. you got to make sure it's selected. So select it, push Save again, and then push Bake. Now when I go over here, you can see <clears throat> in the console what's happening. So simple Bake Start, and then I can see that, oh, it is actually doing something. So Bake Operation 3 of 3 Complete, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to lock up. And that's normal. That's what foreground, baking in the foreground, that's what it's going to do. If you choose to bake in the background, it won't lock up Blender. So, yeah, it's sort of, sort of up to you what you want to do. Um, but, yeah, as long as you have this, this uh, uh, the console open, then you can know whether it's working or not. And for us, we, have, we only have three maps that we're baking, and it says that three of three is complete. So this is another Blender hack that, if you haven't seen me talk about this in another, another uh, video, even though it's locked up, I know it's complete because it says it's complete. Um, well, it says it's saving baked images externally, so maybe I should just wait. Uh, the, the, the smart thing would be to just wait. But if I push Control c it will actually cancel out of this process. Um, and th this works for a lot of things in, in Blender and, and with a lot of uh, add-ons that you have. If you have the console open, you have to have it open before it freezes. But if it's open, you can click on the console and push Control c and then it will... Uh, it will close that, so it'll stop that um, whatever whatever was causing Blender to hang. So now if we look, it looks like it's the same exact thing, right? Uh, but what it did was it hid our original cube, which is this one, and then it, it baked the textures, it reattached them here. And so it looks the same. It looks a little low res because I chose one a 1K texture, but you can see here it's it's much less, um, it's it's much more it's it's a very simplified now right you can see that uh, this is going to convert very easily into um, <clears throat> into octane and I'll just point out this is the this this add-on I was just talking about it it's it's called image preview image node preview or preview nodes if you want to use it for octane get image image node preview and it'll give you a preview of all your your um, your textures so right now I can see that this is obviously the diffuse this is the roughness and um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna go too far into that, but, and then you can see the normal map too, which is just, it's just really cool. Nothing else, it's really cool. So now um, when we go, so I'm gonna save, I'm gonna push Z, go into Octane. If you have AP Octane uh, installed, that's that's a shortcut. Otherwise just switch into Octane the normal way. And then <coughs> now we have this material, right? Now if we convert, so F3, convert to Octane material, there we go. It's converted, and uh, we might want to tweak this some more. I think I would, depending on where this object was going to be. I probably would bake at 2K or 4K. And again, there's no there's no issue for baking at a higher resolution because uh, you could always down res the higher resolution. So, in general, uh, unless I know for sure what I'm doing, I like to bake at like 4K, and then I can down res to 2K if I need to. Um, but again, in in uh, with this image node preview thing, I can uh, I can see my textures here, which is just it's just really cool. I, I'm 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 loving this add-on. I hope it becomes a part of Blender because it's just really cool. Um, but yeah, so so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, I'll point out one thing. I know I always say I always do this, and I forget to, to tell people. I push F3 and I do convert to Octane Material. You can also find that in the um, in the AP Octane um, uh, Material Tools. So there's the convert to Octane Material. You can also find it in the Material, I think it is. Under the Materials, you can do, um, let's see, Settings, con I thought it was called Converters. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where it's at, actually. But to get it in the F3 menu, what you need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, and then Interface, and then do Developer Extras. So if I turn this off, Octane. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't have the option. Convert to. See, now I don't have that option. So you have to turn on this uh, developer extras. And then you get a bunch of other stuff, a bunch of other really cool stuff. So now if we do convert 
we see this convert to octane material. So that's just another one of those random tips. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful, if this was useful. And yeah, I'll see you next time.